Hello then, folks, and welcome back to some set of times. Now, of course, uh, we had a transfer stream, so if you missed that, you might want to go watch the whole thing. Uh, it was quite long, I answered a few questions, we talked about a few different things, but... Uh, since then, obviously, we've started a new season and transfers have happened. Players have been released, players have brought, been brought in, and I'm going to recap that now in case you didn't watch a two-hour video, which I which I kind of understand. So Callum Ferry, Kieran Harrison, Jack Hallahan, Andy Douglas, Jordan O'Connor, and Mark Miles have all been released by the club. Obviously, few sad, sort of, are we sad? I look at him and I think, I'm kind of sad, but I know who we've brought in, so I'm not that sad. Andy Douglas, I think a few of you will be dis disappointed. He had a couple of really good years for me uh, and has to be moved on. Jack Hallahan. That one probably hurts the most. I spent a very long time here. He was a very consistent player for me in that defensive midfield position uh, since he was brought in all those years ago. And um, Kieran Harrison, I mean, he was here for a little bit as well, defensive player. But yes, we've had to change things around a little bit. Jordan O'Connor leaves as well. Of course, the player that left and came back, the great return, and now leaves again. Probably won't see him again back here. So uh, thank you for your service, Jordan. appreciate that. But as mentioned, players have been brought in. And uh, it's time to go through them. Three low knees, four free transfers, and let's start at the top. So firstly, then, Ethan Morgan on loan from Bournemouth. Uh, Left-back player. L seems to be declining a little bit, but I think he's going to be absolutely fine. Crossing's pretty decent. Marking the tackling, 11 and 10s. Uh, decent mental attributes. Great teamwork, work rate, determination and decision-making all up there for me. Uh, agility's not too bad. Great natural fitness and stamina. And for a left-back, that's what you want to see, especially for a, a defender that's six foot one as well. Decent heading. Sometimes you get a full-back with sort of the five to four heading, and that's not so good. But yeah, he should be pretty decent for me. 18 years of age has never played for Bournemouth actually he has that's weird they played him in the championship and then loaned him to me thank you very much he's got two assists already this year now time to go to Pat Rogers who as a striker I think could be rather excellent five for eight great finishing composure and off the ball as well fantastic work rate very very fast and great natural fitness so we should be able to see through the entire season high injury risk right now but I'm not too worried about that yeah and he's been brought in from Cardiff this guy hasn't played for Cardiff's first team but already has two goals and two assists to his name a 7.6 after the first four games we'll recap that in a minute but I think if you look at him there, in a front two, because we're, we're now playing a different system, we're playing the diamond. Uh, I think he fits in perfectly. There he is then. Pat Rogers, welcome him. And speaking of left-sided strikers, we've picked up Roy Nelson uh, from the UFC. No, not from the UFC. But we've brought him from Northern Ireland, uh, has been released from Warren Point and scored quite a few goals. And I think this, this boy might have quite a little bit of potential about him. We've got him. Uh, not on a contract right now. We may well sign him. We we didn't. We weren't able to scout him because he was outside of the UK, or outside of England. We couldn't afford to scout him, uh, so we had to bring him in to see how he'd do. Uh, he's on fifty pounds per appearance fee. I don't think that's too bad. But obviously, if people start sniffing around him, we're gonna have to tie him down to a contract as soon as possible. Seventeen finishing stands out. A little bit raw in terms of his mentals, but at twenty years of age, might still grow into himself a little bit. Uh, two and a half star current ability according to the star ratings. If you pay any attention to them, but with lots of potential too. Joe Grayson might be a familiar name to a few. Uh, starts his career at Blackburn recently uh, in, in the game at least went to Bristol Rovers Harrogate and has been floating around League 2 as well as the Eastern Counties Premier where the players just sort of end up for no reason had a good year last year and I think as a, an all-round central midfielder looks pretty good still very good physicals at 29 good first touch passing's okay really solid mentals too I think we've got ourselves quite a good backup central midfielder that's right a backup central midfielder Troy Ashley Malt at right back on loan from Wolves and this is a player I'm really excited about great tackling great marking but a very well-rounded technical player uh, mentals very good too as are his physicals not the quickest at fullback but that shouldn't matter all too much and as i say yeah a loan spell at telford last year did okay since coming to me though looks really good and our defense overall now is looking pretty solid and part of the reason for that is the addition of andy murray that's right he's not he's not actually scottish but he'll do maybe he did well at wimbledon so now he's english uh, I, i'm expecting him to start for me a lot this year. Physically, I think he's very good. Great positioning, determination. Decision-making could be a lot better. As could his concentration. Maybe his composure could be up there a little bit. But I think overall, looks really good. Great leadership, good marking, tackling, and heading decent. Passing isn't the worst either. So I think we've got ourselves a very good player on our hands. Uh, it was released by Derby. And so far, again, another player that's playing extraordinarily well. And finally, Josh Taylor, who has been brought in really as a backup to Bright uh, to play in the attacking midfield role uh, or the advanced playmaker role. I don't know if we're going to start him for now, but I think you can agree with me. He looks really well-rounded. Similar to, uh, to Keon Harris, who's back on loan from Fulham. I think we've got ourselves a decent player on our hands. 31 years of age, good experience as well. Something we don't have a lot of in the team, actually. And, uh, yeah, delighted to bring him in. We are also working on the arrival of a goalkeeper at the pole. There, 34 years of age. That's his name. You can read, so no need for me to interfere. And so our team looks like this. A controlled, fluid system uh, with Fitzpatrick still in goal. Now, of course, you may remember the saga of Gavin Fitzpatrick. If you watched the stream, uh, you'll know that we managed to tie him down for three years uh, at the very last minute before he left his contract. He stays here again for another season uh, so far he's doing okay a couple of clean sheets but last year 24 clean sheets if you can get that out of him again one goal uh, conceded per game 
ain't too bad. And I think he's pivotal to getting us uh, into those playoffs once again. He'll be in goal then. As I mentioned, Ashley Moult, Andy Murray uh, go into the back line. We've got Holness coming on loan. And you'll be noticing from that 11, quite a lot of loans, but don't worry about that. Uh, Morgan, of course, the left back, he's playing too. And then the returning, Keon Harris. Although we've got some loans in there, some returning loanees. Uh, Harris and Doherty both return. Doherty from Crystal Palace, as mentioned, Harris uh, from, from Fulham. I think Doherty could come on brilliantly this year. 19. I'm excited to see how he does come the end of the year. Uh, Harris again. Really nicely well-rounded. Sits in the, the base of the midfield. And then we've got uh, Stevie Foster on that right-hand side. Great first touch. Great passing. We know all about him. He's been there for quite some time now after coming in from Coventry. Uh, Bright plays behind the front too. Uh, 30 years of age now, one of our more experienced players. And last year, you remember, had a great year. 13 uh, goals, 10 assists. And is having a better season in terms of average rating than last year, which is pretty good, isn't it? And the front two, Abusi remains after coming back from his uh, suspension and started the season electrically. Eight goals in four appearances on an 8.73. Hopefully he continues that in the game we're going to play today. And as I mentioned, Pat Rogers, the other loney, uh, to play up alongside him. I think we've got quite a good team going on. I think, again, if you, if you pay any attention to star ratings, I think we're very, very solid now. And I look forward to seeing how these boys do come the end of the season. Christy Clark Slocum is still here, as his Calvin Hall. Of course, they were the wide players that we had last year, and they'll be featuring at some point this season. I'm sure there'll be a need for rotation at some point. And uh, if we need to switch to a wider system, those boys remain. What do you think then? Transfer business. Um, I'll, I'll give you a little indication. The season has started rather well. We currently sit fourth in the league table, unbeaten. Uh, but not the, we're not the only team to do that. Carlisle, Morecambe and Charlton have entered this division now. We're going to go away to the Valley today. Of course, we borrowed their stadium for a little bit. And it's going to be a really tough game. They've equally got a player who's got eight goals in four games. And uh, it's really Owusu versus Hepburn Murphy. Uh, so it'll be, it'll be those two battling it out today. And I, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Yes, I am hopeful for today. Take this music and use it. Let it take you away because I'm hopeful, hopeful that you've... I, I've done Coach Carter before. We're doing it again. That's what I know the song from. And in terms of the season preview then, for the first time ever, four players that we've got in our squad are in the best 11. And we're second favourites. Don't like that very much. We're second favourites to uh, to get promoted this year. Fitzpatrick in goal. Ashley Mullet right back. Bright and Owusu. And pressure. Pressure's on, isn't it? All of a sudden, we're expected to do things, which has not been the case at all, ever. So let's waste no more time then. Uh, well, actually, firstly, let's go through the recent fixtures then. We start the season with a 2-2 draw. A late equaliser from Stevie Foster's got that one. A uh, 4-2 win over Kettering. A 3-0 win over Chester. And a 4-0 win on telly against Congleton. Uh, you can see that Owusu bagging some goals, as has Pat Rogers. Both of them getting in on the score sheet. But uh, Owusu has started the season electrically. And of course, we made quite a lot of money from our pre-season games. Uh, beat Fulham and our financials then, 250k in the bank. Thank you very much again. You can see there's a spike every single August at this point. It just happens all the time. Also, we're spending a lot less than our wage budget allows. Uh, so hopefully we won't lose quite as much money this year. The time will tell. But hopefully a little FA Cup run. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, of course, this is another season in this division, so we're going to fly through it slightly quicker. Uh, but I do think playing at the Valley, uh, a stadium we've played at before, would be quite a nice way to begin things. And Charlton are third as well, so a bit of a battle. Okay then, both teams are bang in form. Charlton yet to drop any points this season. We've dropped a couple uh, with that draw at the start of the year against Newport. But let's see then. This is the eleven we're going with. How will they impress you and me in this game? Lots on the line. What I like this year. I've said it a few seasons, but we've got a really strong bench now. I'm confident if we have to i can actually make changes that i think help us improve i've been bringing hall on now and again out on that left side so you may well see him feature today oh not only that and this was at the very start of the stream so you may well have just caught this bit actually uh thames apparently according to well, well we'll show you actually again you may well have seen this before um but professional status we're working on it they're planning it for next year i don't know why it takes a year but okay i don't i, I worry that it'll be down to our financials and we just won't get it because we won't have any money but we'll see if we do become professional oh boy everything changes right then we've been on a good run lately go out there and impress me and uh here we go then how can we start the season in video form at uh, the start of the season's been pretty good but a tough game against charlton bring it on right then boys how will we do controlled fluid we're, we're away from standard flexible we've changed it up a little bit away from home that might test this, I guess. But I do think the front two are deadly and our bat line is pretty strong now as uh, it's going to be Charlton, though, to, to attack first. But we work it out quite nicely and Fitzpatrick launches it towards Rogers. And wow, Rogers is already in. Rogers in on goal. Oh, and he bangs it in the back of the net. Six minutes in. Pat Rogers. I mean, that should be the... Go on, I'll be, I'll be Roger on this occasion. I'll pat myself. What, what is, what's going on? You can see here though, Fitzpatrick launches a ball. I mean, that is, does he get the assist for that? I do hope so. Great first touch from Rogers, gets away from his man, and then powers one into that far corner. And the Thames fans away, away there from behind the goal are delighted. 
Perfect start, boys and girls. Perfect start. Harris with a free kick. Can make it two. Awusu's there. And Awusu puts it in the back of there. 30 minutes in. Charlton Athletic are all over the place, says the text commentary. And who am I to disagree with that? Harris with the free kick. Locks it onto the head of Awusu. That's nine in five games for him now. And that man is on fire. In comes the, the, the deadly injury that puts him out for the season. Looking forward to that. But actually, we've got three or four decent strikers now. So I'm quite happy. Uh, let me know in the comment section from the signings we've brought in, just from the new signings, who do you think will be a star in the side? Uh, you can pick any of the loanees as well as a couple of others that we've brought in permanently. And then we'll check back at the end of the season and see if you're right. As uh, Bright now feeds forward a Wusu. Oh my dearie me. 35 minutes gone. It's Thames 3, Charlton Athletic nil. And we are dead, the Awusu. Now, that's 10 in five games. The man is, is hotly in form. You can see here, lays it back to Harris. He finds Bright. And then this, this three ball here. There's no marking going on from Charlton. And the keeper's nowhere. The Thames fans go wild. Great stuff from the boys. I'm, I'm enjoying this season a lot already. Harris, 36 minutes in. Could it be another one? Murray with a shot on... I mean, it's a penalty. I thought the keeper just threw it in his own goal. It's a penalty instead. Awusu for a hat trick. A first half hat trick to seal this game, I'm sure. Awusu steps up. Awusu scores. And bring on League Two. It's very early to be saying that. We're five, we're five games in. Awusu with the penalties. Charlton. Don't know what's hit him. I've got to be honest, viewers. When you make a load of signings, you want them to impress you. And I'm happy right now as uh, there's going to be another chance, perhaps. Holness launches one forward. Keepers come out to claim it. And um, that's the first save I think he's really made. We've had seven shots, six on sh six on target. That's that's not bad. Charlton looking to get back in this, though. And Elliot drives forward. Ball into the centre. Holness gets it clear. And uh, we've got a defend as well as attack. We've got to be good defensively. And Stevie Foster, not known for his defending, but does well there. Abusu plays forward. Rogers, who's in on goal. They could have been 5-0 at half time then. My God. This is really good fun. Holness, Murray's there. And uh, behind it goes. Our bat line is so solid. The highlights are just flooding forward. Harris now with a chance, perhaps. I mean, this this genuinely could end up being 5-0 before half time. I've never seen so many first half highlights. Harris into Bright, into Rogers, into Murray. And it's a good save from the goalkeeper. It does well. And they just about scramble it away who saw this come in just remember Charlton hadn't lost this this season there's another highlight before the half's over I've never seen so many first half highlights it's cleared are we going to put it straight back in no we do the diamond by the way is working superbly well Foster into Wusu for four. Oh, he's missed it I mean that was his fourth five for the team but four for him and that ladies and gents might be the best half of football Thames have ever played and I'm glad you got to see it I mean that's pretty that's pretty outrageous passionate you say very happy with the way things are going boys keep it up and uh, a bit more passionate uh, I'm very happy with you so I'm just going to pick them all up basically okay then second half I mean the battle of Awusu and Hepburn Murphy there's only one winner so far and it's not Hepburn Murphy he's got a booking though I mean credit to him if they come back from here that'll be quite embarrassing oh they've lost it in midfield again Foster nabs in Awusu plays forward Rogers. we saw this at the start of the first half they've got back defensively actually done pretty well but we are so dangerous going forward the pace of our front two is terrifying you remember we played last season was it carlisle in the playoffs and we, we looked to struggle a little bit not this year we are carlisle which is a weird thing to say out loud we were so good murray cleans it up defensively we're just so solid if, if this highlight continues there could be that was a bit well so solid I mean, this is quite nice because it gives us the chance to make some changes as well at some point. As uh, Fitzpatrick launches one forward, Awusu is on it like nobody's business. And now Rogers plays it back into Awusu, who looked offside to me. He wasn't offside. He's got four. Mohamed Awusu is a man on a mission this year. He got 40 goals for me last season in all competitions. I dare say he might beat it this year. For a man who's got, I think, 11 finishing as his attribute, this finish here, I suspect, was quite good. Yes. Yes, it was. It's 5-0. It's not even an hour gone. All right, now it is. Awusu's on a 9.9. .9 and Fitzpatrick is on a 7.9. An 8. We've got a goalkeeper on an 8. Don't concede now, please. That would really ruin the, ruin the tone as uh, we, we come forward again here. Doherty. If it seen such a dominant display, Awusu, can he make it 5? I mean, if it wasn't for ball, it could well be like 10 at this point. We've got a corner. I mean, if this goes in, then all bets are off. No, some things will say the same. We are just, we're, we are a nightmare right now. I mean, 20 minutes to go. We're going to make a change. Roy Nelson, the man with the fantastic finishing, is going to come on. Great performance from Pat Rogers, though. Take nothing away from him. And uh, Joe Grayson to come in the centre for Doherty. Oh, look at that. Natural substitutions. I love it. 10 minutes left to go. Will we see any more goals in the game? I mean, we've brought in a lot of new players and we're very, very good now. But you've got to give credit to Wusu, who's had a sensational performance. As I think that's going to be time, as the referee calls it. Charlton at the Valley, nil. Thames, five. Wusu four. 
sensational. Clinical as well, that's the big thing right there. So clinical. A 9.9 .9 for a Wusu. Very happy with the way you played. Everyone looks delighted. No, I need more happiness than that. I want them all to be absolutely, I want them to be elated. And there we are then. Just the one game today, of course, because of all the transfer business. But what a game to show you. That was unbelievably good. These kids are all right, you know. They're all right. And that then is going to bring us to the end. As mentioned, we're going to fly through these seasons a little bit more now. Uh, next game, 6-0, anyone? Just to keep the, the sequence going. Uh, third in the league table. I think the next time we meet, we'll be quite, as I say, quite a long way away. Uh, maybe around sort of the Scunthorpe St. Albans game. We'll, we'll try and get sort of 10 or so games in. Um, but yeah, we'll see. 12 goals in five games. Oh, it's so fun. And we love with care then. If we had to mention the next time, goodbye. Oh my, I'm having, this is going to be a lovely time. Thank you for watching, folks. And a massive shout out to Shane and Josh for your support over on Patreon. Much love to you, boys. Thank you for the support. And I'll see you next time.